Hey Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really means a lot to me. Look, today's comment comes from YouTube. Somebody who commented a lengthy comment, but I appreciate all of them, whether it's a robot emoji to show me and the algorithms who's really boss, or whether it's any emoji you like, or whether it's a long, well, carefully crafted and well thought out comment. I appreciated the same. So let me read this one. Hey Dan, you're the first one I looked at when I wanted to get into clinical research and now I have been a CRC for two years at a large cancer center and I'm handling all phases of clinical research trials, dealing directly with patients, physicians, pharmacies, startup, data, regulatory teams. My first question is, why do research nurses with no prior research experience make so much more than we non-nurses do. Is it worth me going back for an RN? I already have two bachelor's degrees and one master's in science. RN make at least 25K more and we do exactly the same job. Also, I have no desire to be a CRA with all that travel. So what are my next moves so I can increase my salary? Let's start with your next moves first. So your next move, if you don't wanna be a CRA, you can do a couple of things. You can work at a sponsor, either now and climb your way up to some kind of director level. Uh, study director could be one, clinical trial manager could be another one. Although this CTM probably will need some CRA experience. You can also do in-house CRA without the travel. It's basically a CRA without the travel or remote site monitor at places like PPD. You can do that. I know a few people who do do that. Um, so there's a lot of roles. If you want to stay at the site level, you can do site director. Uh, if you want to stay at the CRO level, you can do, I mean, CTM is one I already mentioned, sponsor level. There's all kinds of things you can do based on what skill sets you add. Now, and at the, by the way, at those levels, like clinical trial manager and like study director roles, it doesn't matter if you have an RN or not. It will matter at the roles you're currently in and the roles immediately above where you're at. Why? It's very simple. It's practical. Let's let's not forget what it, it may not be fair, I know, but let's think about it from the employer's perspective. An RN, you already know that an RN has done enough education and probably has enough experience in actual patient care to not need training on the therapeutic indication, meaning serious adverse events, adverse events of special interest, toxicology, how drugs relate to one another, how drugs impact adverse events, how drugs impact side effects, how drugs impact uh, safety of the patient, how drugs interact with one another, all right, let's not forget that we are in medicine at the end of the day. So, of course, an RN is going to be higher valued at the CRC and the CRA roles because CRCs deal directly with patients and patient safety, and CRAs deal with the patient safety of the study data and the charts and things like that. So, they, from the employer's perspective, somebody with an RN even though they don't have any research experience, they at least don't need to be trained on the therapeutic indication, and they at least don't need to be trained on all the medicine that involves and all the science and, and all the clinical aspects that come about with that job, especially patient-facing or CRA, which is patient safety issues. So at least we know that it may not be fair, I'm not here to say whether it's fair or not, but I do understand why. And it's just, it's unfortunate for you, I know, because you're doing the same exact roles and you can self, true, you can self-train yourself and you probably have already self-trained yourself just like I have on the most common side effects of various drugs in your therapeutic area, the most common interactions, what's prohibited usually the typical washout period, the typical titration periods for certain medications, and the medical terminology. You've probably self-trained. So yes, it's not fair in that regard because you probably do know from a practical standpoint, 
everything that you need to know that the RN also knows. But it's just, it's the education, it's the brand name. Remember, sponsors are paying for all this stuff. And sponsors do value credentials still in our industry. So put yourself in the employer's position. This industry still is clinical. We're in, we're in medicine. So that's just the way it is. Now, in the higher up levels, like director levels, clinical trial manager levels, it doesn't matter. That's where experience is the great equalizer. But where you currently at, beginning slash climbing your way up, it still does matter, unfortunately. And you're probably, after that two-year mark, you're probably at that point where this can kind of irritate you. And I get it. I get it from your perspective, too, because here you are with more than two years of experience now doing the same exact thing the RN with zero experience is going to do. And yeah, they may have the clinical knowledge, but they don't have any of the research knowledge. And you have both, although one is self-taught from the school of hard knocks and the other one you've you've learned through your experience both from the school of hard knocks and you have bachelors and masters to go on top of it so i get it it's frustrating it's just the way it is good news is you can climb just as quickly as that rn into a ctm position project manager position cra position uh although you don't want to travel but for someone else watching maybe you do you can get into those roles and then the networking it's on you because networking with the right people on LinkedIn. So go to this one, Latinos in Clinical Research. Free networking for everybody. You don't need to be Latino. I'm not Latino. I'm in the group. I'm one of the co-founders. We welcome people of all backgrounds. Latinos in Clinical Research.com. We have free Zoom meetups every month where you can meet other people. Guess who's there? CTMs, hiring managers. They're all in our meetings every month. So it helps to go to these kind of things. Black Women in Clinical Research has similar. ACRP, SOCRA, although theirs are not as good, they make up for it in volume and they have chapters in like every major city. And then LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you don't even need to leave the comfort of your home. You just get on LinkedIn and you start engaging with people's posts. And start, there's ton, I, know, I know so many people on LinkedIn that I do not know in real life. I just know them from LinkedIn, and they have created tremendous opportunities for themselves. So that's something you can be doing as well that I think a lot of people are ignoring because networking with the right people can get you in the right places. And yeah, you may not, who can, you're, you're, you're going to get to the point where that 25K a year is not going to matter. And at some of these director levels, right, that's not, that's not something that's going to matter. But you have, you're have you still climbing, so you're going to get to those places at some point. And it, somebody who leaves a comment like that, I know you have the ambition and the desire. So now it's just a matter of putting it all together and being patient. And yes, I know it's frustrating, but I like to put myself in other people's shoes. So in this case, I'm putting myself in your shoes. Totally get it. But I'm also putting myself in the employer's shoes, and I totally get it too. Both can be true at the same time and it can still be annoying to you, but you can still have plenty of opportunities. That lack of the RN is not going to matter in five more years if you network the right way and follow an, an appropriate career trajectory. There is not one blueprint. There is just appropriate career trajectories, meaning what kind of organization are you going? If you've been at a site doing oncology studies, why not think of a CRO doing oncology studies? Why not think of a sponsor doing oncology studies? Try in-house CRA. Try remote site monitor. Try study startup specialist. Put yourself in a position to eventually become whatever you want to become. Project manager, regulatory affairs, clinical trial manager. There's so many things you can do. Network, meet people. Let's go. Thank you so much for being a loyal member of Guru Nation. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Bye-bye.